Constantine Bovro, the great great grandson of Paul Bovro, and I'm also here with Eru I Shakamosa Menelik. My name is Claude Sinclair. My African name is Kweko. How are you today? Well, I'm fine. It is an honor for me and my friends to come here today, leaving all the way from Kingston, stop over in St. Thomas, and we're here to meet with you on this historical piece of landscape. Yes. Tell us a little bit about Simi No More. Well, Simi No More is, was a property that was owned by a slave master whose name was uh, Ross Craig. He was a, a Scottish uh, man who had the property here. And uh, he had our ancestors uh, brought here. I have a slave house on the property with the dungeon. Yes. And they used to bring our ancestors through here. Mm. So we have uh, some ancestors from Nigeria, from Calabar, mm -hmm. and they are from Kuo. They are Kuo people from Calabar. Mm. And then we have the Ghanaians, of course, in Maroon Town. That is uh, uh, near Port Antonio, up in the hills, in Maroon Town. They are Ashantis. And then we have, you know, going down Bath area also. We have other uh, nationalities. Jamaica, we have, when we go to Westmoreland, we have a Bekuta. A Bekuta people are from Nigeria also. From a Bekuta in Nigeria. Mm. And we have a Bekuta in Westmoreland. And then in St. Mary, um, I don't know much about St. Mary, but we have other people uh, from St. Mary too. Maybe we have some uh, Maroons in St. Mary. Yes. We have Maroons yeah, in St. Mary. Yeah, okay, the Maroons are, are Ashantis. Mm. So that is uh, what we have. Um, somehow it bothers me because most of Jamaica, I la it's like we are lost, ladies and gentlemen. We don't know who we are. We are like wandering sheep. We don't even know our real names. So to get this fact, this piece of fact from a, a Ghanaian bond, that our tribe, our people, came from Ghana. And Nigeria. And Nigeria. It makes me feel good because at least I know where we started from mm -hmm. on this perilous journey yeah. to Jamaica. Yeah. Jamaica has seen some wicked time, Queen Mother. Our murder rate is 1,000 plenty. And it's, it's, it's continuing every day. The bloodletting keeps continuing. What kind of message would you give to the Jamaican people? Well, what I will say, first of all, is for us to put the spirit of our ancestors to rest. Because our ancestors are not resting. 
they are roaming their spirit is roaming the whole land and what is happening now is that the ancestors are asking for vengeance that is the problem we are having right now in Jamaica mm. the spirit of the ancestors are uh, uh, what do you call it possessing these young people and making them commit all these atrocities so let me speak this in Jamaican so we can understand. Mm -hmm. You're saying that because of our ancestors, our spirits of our ancestors mm -hmm. is not at peace, mm -hmm. then the spirit of our ancestors possess these youngsters, yes. these mis misguided youths. Yes. And that, that is, is why we're having this wanton is killing is without mercy. Until we put the spirit of the ancestors to rest in peace we will not have peace in Jamaica. I'm saying that authoritatively. We have to bury them properly because they were killed anyhow. They didn't bury them properly in the African traditional way. They buried them in like mass graves. That is the thing. Camels. They were kings and queens. They were just brought here and dumped like, like, like... The garbage. Dirt. Uh, thank you. How much time left? So that is, right. that, that is the problem we are having now. We have to put the spirit of our ancestors to rest. They are asking for vengeance. Mm. Can I say something? Yes. yes. Khan, what are your thoughts now that you have heard? And it is always the 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 idea of the Paul Bogle Foundation to pay uh, homage to our fallen... If we go to the Bible, which is a spiritual book that says, Christ says... He will Hold on, I noticed a while ago when you Bible, mentioned the Bible... The Bible was written by white people. Africans did not write Bible. Don't give me Bible talk. Well, My ancestors didn't know you, what Bible well, was. Maybe if you had just allow me to say mm. what I was going to say. Mm. Don't let I them am saying <laughs> to you that now. even if you look at the Bible with that, Bible. They, that they use mm. as the spiritual book of guidance, in it Christ said, if you don't recognize me, I will not recognize you. So the ancestors are saying, that if you don't recognize our blood sacrifice, is the ancestors is saying to us, if you do not recognize our blood sacrifice, then you are not really going to have any peace in your life. That is it. That so, is what is happening. So, so um, that's what I'm trying to say. Okay. So until the people of Jamaica you know, recognize, and black people in general recognize the blood sacrifice. You can't have 500 million people killed, killed and slaughtered and whatever, raped, chopped to death, pregnant woman chopped with their belly open. You can't have that kind of atrocity, the biggest human atrocity that ever take place on earth. And you do not have a day to recognize this level of blood sacrifice because if you don't I am telling you so what Queen Mother is saying is something that then you are not really going to have any peace in your life that is it that so, is what is happening so, so um, that's what I'm trying to say okay so until the people of Jamaica you know, recognize, and black people in general recognize the blood sacrifice. You can't have 500 million people killed, killed and slaughtered and whatever, raped, chopped to death, pregnant woman chopped with their belly open. You can't have that kind of atrocity, the biggest human atrocity that ever take place on earth. And you do not have a day to recognize this level of blood sacrifice because if you don't what are your thoughts on 
the pain, uh, the atonement of our people, the lighting of millions of candles for our ancestors, putting their souls to rest? Well, the first thing we must acknowledge is that we are children of the Africans. And we must turn to Africa for all our redemption. We must start using the African customs. And as we look at even simple things as our names, the names give empowerment to the English people when you keep your English name. We have to discard those names and take the African energy. And as Marcus Mosiah Garvey in African Fundamentalism say, we must create our own reality. We must live the reality of Africans. When we live the reality of the white man, the European, we are strengthening his system and keeping it on top of us. We must discard it, do away with the white man's system and create our own because we are the first creators. We are made in the image of God, in the likeness of God as African people. That Powerful. is what I have to say. Powerful. Queen Mother. Yes. My sister, Nana Esibua, took one of her ancestors' remains back to Ghana. Ghana had a national atonement, was Queen Mother San Manso. Mm -hmm. Ghana had an atonement day. We were mourning. People were crying. You know, when they took the ancestors home. We had one ancestor from here, uh, Madame Crystal, that uh, Nana Isibua took. And then we had two ancestors from America, male. So there were three ancestors taken back to Ghana. Mm. And, you know, Ghana had a day of mourning for the ancestors. I don't know what Jamaica is doing, but Jamaica, we have to do something. We have to do something in Jamaica here. Because, I mean, we've lost, we've lost so many of our ancestors here. The blood is crying out now. And that is why we are having all these killings. We have to do something. We have to do the atonement here and put our ancestors to rest. Their spirit are crying. That is what we have to do. Uh -huh. um, we noticed that the parish, ladies and gentlemen, of Portland has one of the lowest crime rates for the last many years. And the reason that is so is because of Queen Mother Lynch. Not me alone. Not just her alone, but the stuff that she have done along with other people, putting the ancestors to rest in this parish. Henceforth, the murder rate is very, and very low. And our brothers in Motown also. There was a part of it, the Motown yeah, Maroons. The Motown Maroons too. As you notice, ladies and gentlemen, I have this piece of rock that I took from the slave house. And I brought it here because I want Queen Mother to bless it. Because I want to keep this as a, as a reminder of what our people went through. I will cherish this piece of rock and I will hand it down from one generation to the other. So Queen Mother. Na ma pepe fi Nigeria, Kalaba. Na mo wari Jamaica ni. Jamaica ni a mo wari. Our friend Tony Lynch. Na eh you our friend then non crawfo. Na ancestors so. Yeah eh our friend eh Willie Lynch. Ona. Oko Queen. Oko Queen eh yam crawfo. Wo Jamaica. Na America. In the book, Wake Baby, wa friend Antonio Lynch, wa won wo Cuba, Santiago de Cuba. In a Mawaran, wa London, in a Minion Nigeria, Noka Yejuma. 
na me nyine ba Jamaica na na se me sana ko Ghana na ma ko Nigeria na eh na me ye eh wo friend that eh eh young pal me kwa me nkroma number nzi me be fie na JJ ba eh Jamaican or Brian, uh, Nimpa or Bob Drums or friend Victor, then a Victor of Nimbatanaha, na or Edna Manley, uh, or friend Arts and how you call the Edna Quaba Aquaba Drummers, na Edna Manley School of Art and Art and what? Performing art. Pe performing art. You see, Victor, you a Jamaica ha or Portland. You see, you see, a Ghana for a diaspora. One show one who ye. A brothel in Pede. Ye ye bibiara. A brothel in Pede. World, what friend that? World, what you call it? What the, what the white people want? New, new world or order. order. And so what people want to do? Africans, what people want Africans. Why are what people want to do? They are afraid of us. They want to exterminate all the Africans.